The State Bank of Pakistan is the Central Bank of Pakistan. Its constitution, as originally laid down in the State Bank of Pakistan Order 1948, remained basically unchanged until January 1, 1974, when the bank was nationalized and the scope of its functions was considerably enlarged. The State Bank of Pakistan Act 1956, with subsequent amendments, forms the basis of its operations today. The headquarters are located in the financial capital of Pakistan, Karachi. The bank has a fully owned subsidiary with the name SBP Banking Services Corporation, the operational arm of the central bank with branch offices in 16 cities across Pakistan. Including the capital city Islamabad and the four provincial capitals. The State Bank of Pakistan has other fully owned subsidiaries as well, National Institute of Banking and Finance, the training arm of the bank. Providing training to commercial banks, the Deposit Protection Corporation, and ownership of Pakistan Security Printing Corporation. Before independence on August 14, 1947, during the British colonial era, the Reserve Bank of India was the central bank for the then undivided subcontinent. On 30 December 1948 the British Government's Commission distributed the Reserve Bank of India's reserves between Pakistan and India, 30% for Pakistan and 70% for India. The losses incurred in the transition to independence, the small amount taken from Pakistan's share. In May 1948 Muhammad Ali Jinnah took steps to establish the State Bank of Pakistan immediately. These were implemented in June 1948, and the State Bank of Pakistan commenced operation on July 1, 1948. Under the State Bank of Pakistan Order 1948, the State Bank of Pakistan was charged with the duty to regulate the issue of banknotes and keeping of reserves. With a view to securing monetary stability in Pakistan and generally to operate the currency and credit system of the country to its advantage. Initially, a large percent of the State Bank was funded by industrial families, who Kuwaiti Iazam promoted. They would allot a percentage of their annual profit towards the functioning of the bank. Most notably, the Valika family would allocate the largest share amongst these families, who also possessed good ties with the Quaid, since September 1947 when the Quaid laid the foundations of the first textile mill of Pakistan, Valika Textile Mills. A large section of the State Bank's duties was widened when the State Bank of Pakistan Act 1956 was introduced. It required the State Bank to regulate the monetary and credit system of Pakistan and to foster its growth in the best national interest with a view to securing monetary stability and fuller utilization of the country's productive resources. In February 1994, the State Bank was given full autonomy, during the financial sector reforms. On January 21, 1997, this autonomy was further strengthened when the government issued three amendment ordinances. Those included were the State Bank of Pakistan Act, 1956, Banking Companies Ordinance, 1962 and Banks Nationalization Act, 1974. These changes gave full and exclusive authority to the State Bank to regulate the banking sector, to conduct an independent monetary policy and to set a limit on government borrowings from the State Bank of Pakistan. The amendments to the Banks Nationalization Act brought the end of the Pakistan Banking Council and allowed the jobs of the council to be appointed to the chief executives. Boards of the Nationalized Commercial Banks and Development Finance Institutions. The State Bank having a role in their appointment and removal. The amendments also increased the autonomy and accountability of the chief executives, the boards of directors of banks and DFIs. The State Bank of Pakistan also performs both the traditional and developmental functions to achieve macroeconomic goals. The traditional functions may be classified into two groups. One, the primary functions including an issue of notes, regulation and supervision of the financial system. Bankers Bank, lender of the last resort, banker to government, and conduct of monetary policy. Two, the secondary functions including the agency function like management of public debt, management of foreign exchange, etc and other functions like advising the government on policy matters and maintaining close relationships with international financial institutions. The non-traditional or promotional functions, performed by the state bank include the development of a financial framework, institutionalization of savings and investment, provision of training facilities to bankers, and provision of credit to priority sectors. The state bank also has been playing an active part in the process of Islamization of the banking system. The bank is active in promoting financial inclusion policy and is a leading member of the Alliance for Financial Inclusion. 
It is also one of the original 17 regulatory institutions to make specific national commitments to financial inclusion under the Maya Declaration during the 2011 Global Policy Forum held in Mexico. In 2019, the SBP launched the National Payment System Strategy to lay out a framework for Pakistan to foster a modern digital payments infrastructure. The State Bank of Pakistan has also been entrusted with the responsibility to carry out monetary and credit policy in accordance with government targets for growth and inflation with the recommendations of the Monetary and Fiscal Policies Coordination Board without trying to affect the macroeconomic policy objectives. The State Bank also regulates the volume and the direction of flow of credit to different uses and sectors. The State Bank makes use of both direct and indirect instruments of monetary management. During the 1980s, Pakistan embarked upon a program of financial sector reforms, which lead to a number of fundamental changes. Due to these changes the conduct of monetary management which brought about changes to the administrative controls and quantitative restrictions to market-based monetary management. A reserve money management program has been developed, for intermediate target of M2, that would be achieved by observing the desired path of reserve money, the operating target. State Bank of Pakistan has changed the format and designs of many banknotes which are currently in circulation in Pakistan. These steps were taken to overcome the problems of fraudulent activities. The State Bank of Pakistan looks into many ranges of banking to deal with changes in the economic climate and different purchasing and buying powers. Here are some of the banking areas that the bank looks into. This is a chart of trend of major assets and liabilities reported by scheduled commercial banks to the State Bank of Pakistan with figures in millions of Pakistani rupees. Commercial banks are allowed by State Bank of Pakistan to outsource their cash processing functions that include sorting, authentication and packing of banknotes to cash processing companies. The principal officer of the SBP is the governor. Since May 4, 2019, Reza Bakir has been the governor. The board consists of 10 members, the governor, the secretary, finance division, government of Pakistan, and eight directors, including one director from each province, to be nominated by the federal government. The directors are appointed for a term of three years. Traditionally, these directors are reappointed for a second term, though this is not a requirement of the law and there have been a few exceptions to this practice. The current board of directors consists of the following. Thanks for watching.